We all know creative people. Here on the coast, there are thousands of them. But do they earn a living? And if so, how? Let's have a listen to what some of these artists have got to say. It's hard to make money out of music anywhere. Okay. Uh, I spent uh, about three months last year in Austin, Texas, and it's, they claim that that's the music city of the world. But even there, it's hard to make a living out of it. It's, sure. you, they rely on tips over there, a lot of them. Okay. Uh, you yeah. know, they're playing for tips. Yeah. And um, some, if, you, if you're really good, then the tips are really good, I guess. How does this uh, sit in with the, the change of nature of digital recording and sharing mm. and downloading and all the things that happen? I think I sell more on iTunes now than I do um, right. okay. in a gig situation, which is sort of cool, you know. You can be right here in your hometown yeah, yeah. and run a career now. It's nice to get out on the road and tour. You've got to remember that it's hard and it's hard to make money out of it. It's no good of driving from here to Brisbane and having gigs, but getting home and finding that you've spent more money than you made. I've done it. It's, it's, um, it wears a little thin very quickly, so you've got to make it work. Can you tell us a little bit about the process of selling your work and making it economical for you? Well, uh, as, I, as I explained, I do have an, uh, an agent who's, who sells my work and also um, can get me commission work. But I also make sure that I'm sort of in exhibitions myself too. I'm usually pretty lucky, you know, to sell a few works and that sort of keeps me going as well. I can't just rely on, on the agent's money rolling in. And also, the other thing, something that has changed that we've noticed in the last few years is galleries are not selling the way they used to sell. A lot of galleries have closed down, including galleries that I've been in. Working as an artist on the coast is a little bit challenging in the way it's hard to make a name for yourself in the bigger market of Sydney. Uh, I think as an artist you have to find your little niche in the market. Lisha, tell us a little bit about what you started uh, with Catherine and how it all evolved, please. Yeah. Well, the, the mission was to, to, um, to set up a, a space, a cultural hub, um, for professional artists, um, to give them an affordable space to work in, an affordable space to exhibit and teach, um, and the networking opportunities that come from here. Working with, on a grassroots level, with people of like mind, and almost like a bartering of skills systems to make things happen without needing a lot of money. So it's, it's a beautiful, um, holistic, uh, plan that's quite a different way of thinking for most people. Right from the beginning with our business plan we did a bit of research on um, where Gosford was intending through council and everything and seeing that they had this cultural plan of making Gosford a cultural hub. Right. So we sort of thought, yep, yeah, this is where we're going to be. We want to be there, you know, as they're developing this as well. Sure. And uh, to be honest, the Central Coast does need, need something. Um, to, to attract tourism and um, and there's so many artists that live on the coast that travel to Sydney and the people that have never been in a gallery are feeling welcome to come in here and uh, we're not going to make any judgments we're not going to be the snooty gallery sort of people it's it's open to everybody so we want to talk about the work we want them to come into the studios and meet the artists and see what's involved in making the art and why it costs what it does so they can appreciate um, what, what we do and how we add to the world. I'd love to be making a living out of my passion but, but at this stage uh, we've, we're only starting up and I, I guess we'd all like to be able to um, make more money out of that but at this point in time we're just keen to get a space and to seek grants to, to um, uh, enable us to run workshops to mm. encourage more people to participate in the arts. You've just got to be brave and just do it. <laughs> if you believe enough in it, just do it. Put yourself out there. There's nothing to stop you. It's it just sheer belief in yourself and if you want to do it, you can do it.